guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Paige, this is my Great Pyrenees Mellow, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the seven what I consider must-haves um, before you get your Great Pyrenees or things that you need for your Great Pyrenees. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So the first thing you're going to want to get is collapsible steps for the back of your car, especially if you have like, a, like if you're going to be putting your dog in the like back of the car so if you have a truck and you have a cab on it and you're planning on putting your dog back there like we do or if you have like an SUV and you're going to put them in the back I would definitely recommend getting these steps great Pyrenees they have they have big joints so they can have they're very prone to joint problems and stuff so starting them on like getting them used to these steps as young as you possibly can would be great because they'll get used to it we got these a little too late for Mello. We got them like a couple of months ago and we we're going to try them with him. He just doesn't like going up them. So I definitely recommend getting some collapsible stair steps that you can like put underneath your car whenever you go like traveling with your dog or whenever you plan on going on vacation or hiking, stuff like that. Definitely recommend these. These are super good like padded steps. Everything that you see will be linked down below. In this video so make sure to go check it out if you're interested but definitely recommend these so the next thing you're gonna want to get for your great Pyrenees before you even bring them home or before like they get too old is you're gonna want to get a coat blower so this is the coat blower we got um, I got this for Christmas I really like this coat blower because it has a heating and a blowing section and you can turn it up if you want it like up higher and you can actually change the nozzles so this is my favorite nozzle that it came with but it also came with like this flat nozzle this nozzle and then this like rake nozzle so i would definitely recommend picking up a coat blower for your great pyrenees it makes the grooming process so much easier when grooming your great pyrenees because it helps get all that like dust from their undercoat it helps get out any extra and then obviously you still need to brush them even if you have a coat blower, but this just cuts back our grooming time so much. Definitely recommend getting one of these. So the next thing I would recommend getting for your Great Pyrenees, probably before you even bring them home because you want them to get used to this, but that is going to be a nail Dremel. So this is the Dremel we use. It has a low setting. And a high setting it's super great it actually came with extra like um tips to grind down your dog's nails these are super super helpful if your dog doesn't really like the nail clippers but what we do is we actually cut mellow's nails and then we grind them down to like take off the sharp edges that way he's not scratching anybody and his nails are nice and short how they're supposed to be but i would definitely recommend getting this dremel so the next thing I would recommend picking up for your Great Pyrenees is a long leash. I would definitely recommend getting one of these. This one is a, I believe, a 20 or 30 foot. This one does have a smaller clip, but you can obviously get them in like bigger sizes. The reason I would recommend getting a long leash, especially for Great Pyrenees, is because they like to roam. They like to like explore, stuff like that. So they're super great, especially if you don't have a fenced in yard. You can still let your dog have a little bit of like exploring time and they also are super great for teaching recall for your dog that way eventually you can like wean them off the leash if they have a solid enough recall but they're super great highly recommend them um like it gives your puppy like some play time you have extra time that way you're not being like pulled around on a six foot leash when playing fetch so the next thing you're going to want for your Great Pyrenees is that is a lot of brushes. So this is just a regular hairbrush. It has some mellow hair in it um, right now, but this is just a regular hairbrush. We have a um, smaller, like, slicker brush kind of. Um, mellow, he chooses brushes. He's not a big fan of being brushed. And then my thing that I like having is we have some... Uh, thinning scissors and then we have a lot of combs. I like these combs from the dollar store. They help get into their undercoat but I would definitely recommend getting a undercoat rake. We currently lost ours. Mellow chewed it up. We need to get a new one 
but I will insert a couple of pictures of rakes that I would definitely recommend getting um, from Amazon, but a lot of brushes. You're gonna definitely need a lot of brushes when it comes to these dogs. So, so the next thing you're gonna wanna get, and this is basically for like any puppy, stuff like that, is you are going to want to get a nice collar and a nice leash. So I love collars the best. This is our Martingale collar that we use by far. It's sticky note because my phone number is on it. Um, but this is a Fabric Martingale. I recommend getting these, especially since you can personalize them. Super great for puppies, especially if they try and like slip out of their collar. It keeps them from slipping out. And then I would definitely recommend picking up a leash. So I would recommend a nice thick rope leash, like the Sippy Paws leash. Or you can get a chain leash um, because we went through this puppy phase with Mello where he would sit there and he would chew his harnesses. He would chew his nylon leashes. So I would just recommend investing in a nice thick rope leash or even a chain leash. Chain leashes help keep your puppy from chewing on the leash because they're less likely to grab at the leash. So the last thing you're going to need is obviously you're going to need a lot of training treats. So here's just some training treats I would recommend. We have those ones. The Zooks Minis are really good training treats. These are our foundation treats from Petflow. And then these Blue Bites. So you want good training treats, especially um, like motivational treats. So even like if you went for like freeze dried like liver or beef liver, stuff like that, because you definitely want to have a lot of these on hand, especially when training Great Pyrenees, because they can be like very like unmotivated at times and you're just going to have a good treat to keep their attention and keep them up on training. Okay guys, so that is going to be all. Those are the seven things I would recommend getting for your Great Pyrenees or that you should think about getting for your Great Pyrenees. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye!